What's happening, people? Nocturnal. Y'all know what it is. Hey, Black Wolverine, my man T.I., who wins this fight between Charlo and Harrison? Controversial first fight. A lot of people said that Charlo was robbed. On the other hand, a lot of people said that um, he was outboxed. I watched a video from this other this guy today. I don't, I can't remember the name of his channel, but um, he said he used to be a Charlo fan, but he lost some respect for him for whatever reasons, and he said he clearly, clearly got outboxed. Now, I, I revisited that video, that that uh, fight today. Watched a full fight, and um, from what I saw, it was pretty apparent that especially the first six rounds charlo was getting outboxed um and he had that look of urgency in his corner and in his face that he knew he was fighting from a deficit seventh round he put in some work he from the beginning of the bell he tried to put in some work and then slowly he started getting outboxed again but a lot of people that saying that charlo got completely outboxed I don't see it. I mean, that fight was very razor thin close. It could have went either way and it could have been a draw. Um, it was a it was like I said, obvious Charlo was head hunting, but when he when he landed, he was doing some damage. He rocked him a couple of times. He rocked him in the seventh, he rocked him um I think he caught him a couple of times in the eighth round the 10th round, the 11th round, in the 12th round, he definitely caught him a couple of times, and Harrison was on his back foot and was holding a, holding for a, a, a few TikToks in the 12th round. Now, here and there from the 7th round to the 12th round, Harrison was still pop-shotting and still was outboxing him, but only to a certain extent. It was kind of a tit-for-tat type of a fight past the 6th round. But with that being said, I definitely don't think that Charlo was robbed. I don't think he did enough to win that fight in the judge's eyes. And in my opinion, when you're early in your career, like like Charlo brothers are, you shouldn't even be leaving fights up to the judges. Not that you should be just man down, knocking everybody out. But when you win a fight, you should win a fight overwhelmingly. To where it's a clear, obvious winner. Now, I can see how the judges gave Harrison that fight. But I also would have agreed with that fight being a draw. Because Charlo did put some damage. He did put in some work. Um, he was head hunting. So, who's going to win the rematch? Who's going to make the adjustments? You know, is, is Harrison going to feel like he did everything perfectly? So he's going to come back with the same exact game plan? Or is Charlo going to, is, or, or is he going to say, you know what, Charlo might adapt and make some adjustments. Therefore, I need to make some improvements myself to make sure that I can guarantee this fight. Or is Charlo going to make the proper adjustments because in my mind the way i'm looking at it charlo only would have had to make a few adjustments in that fight in order to win that fight mostly to invest in some body work and to have a little bit more movement a little bit more baiting harrison into his power instead of uh being the aggressor the whole time he should have been able to you know, switch levels, draw back, and know how to, um, um, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, give me the word, people. He, he should have been able to bait him into his into his power. In other words, he should have been, ah, I'm losing the word, people. I hate when I do that. Um, so y'all leave me, y'all leave me. Y'all thoughts? How how do y'all see the fight unfolding? This new fight? Do y'all think Charlo's gonna win? Do you think it's gonna be the same 
fight that we just saw the first time where he's going to get outboxed because a lot of people say whenever you have a rematch between a boxer and a puncher, then usually the boxer is going to win, right? So a lot of people are picking Harrison for this fight. But at the same time, when I hear them pick Harrison for for the fight, a lot of them, a lot of them give him a lot more credit for the first fight than I'm giving them. Because I am saying I see where he did enough work to win that fight. I'm still saying he got tagged a few times. And um, that was that was close to um, there was a few times where he was close to, to getting wobbled, getting knocked down. I think if Charlo would have scored one knockdown, he would have probably took that fight. Similar to Daniel Jacobs and Canelo's first fight. Canelo won that fight, or Triple G, my fault, between Triple G and Daniel Jacobs. Canelo won that fight almost based off one round, one knockdown. Because from that point on, that was a very close 50-50 matchup. So I think if Charlo would have knocked down Harrison one time in that fight, it would have been either a draw or it would have had to go in Charlo's direction. Now, I'm still searching for that word in my mind where you, temptations, that's what I'm thinking of, temptations. Uh, Charlo needs to learn, should have, make. should I say it like this? I want to see... In that fight, I would like to have seen Charlo made the adjustment from just being the aggressor to to being uh, a little bit more elusive and baiting him into his power shots where he would have used a little bit of like, um, I lost the word again. Man, this is nocturnal thoughts. This is how my mind goes. Uh, What was the word again? Help me out, people. What was the word again? Uh, Temptations. He should have had a little bit more of tempting him. You know, tempting him to come into. He should have, you know, you know, he should have, he should have backed into the corner and let Harrison get off a little bit, so that Harrison wasn't so much on the defense. And then come with his power shots, you know. Uh, sometimes, like Mayweather used to do, Mayweather would just lean against the ropes, and then he would just kind of wave you in, and then he would catch you. He would slip you, roll his shoulder, and come back and hit you. So, hopefully, Charlo can be more tempting and not be just a forward um, seek and destroy missile. But he can draw back and bring Harrison into his power. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of leaning towards Charlo on this fight because so many people are picking Harrison because they say the boxer wins. I like to go against the grain. I like Charlo. I think he I think he I think he um is lion hearted. Harrison is lion hearted, but I think the Charlo brothers is lion hearted, lion hearted. And um I think he's gonna be able to make a few adjustments in order to ensure himself a victory in this fight because I think he was very close to actually winning that fight I think Harrison was really surprised he had a very surprised action uh, reaction when he when he won that fight now he did enough work he put in work and he deserved that victory but I don't want to I'm not going to act like he just dominated Charlo to where it was unanimous he didn't just dominate. He had some good rounds. He definitely was a, a, a better boxer, but he got some work put on him, too. He got tagged, and I think he was a little bit suspect whether or not he was going to pull out that victory. I think he thought it was going to be either a draw, but hey, man, we'll see what happens. I want to hear your ideas. I want to hear y'all thoughts, and just let me know what y'all think of the rematch and who's going to be victorious. Nocturnal thoughts. Peace out, people. I'm out.